we need good people, we need smart people um, in Congress, which ultimately impacts and affects our lives. And so it is my pleasure to welcome you to uh, this small group here. Welcome, uh, George. All right, thanks everybody, it's really nice to be here. I love this area. So when I was um, moving across the country from my role at NASA as Chief of Staff to go run Virgin Galactic, the first office that we opened was in Old Town, Pasadena. So we had a little outpost of like, you know, three or four people, and eventually that three or four people became, you know, a thousand people at, uh, in Mojave. I think you've got a wonderful organization here growing great future at Mandela, Mandela and the other companies and also just such an incredible moment in time right for the space industry and the opportunity to connect into some of the world's greatest problems so I envy you I used to say to the folks at, at Galactic that you're so lucky to be able to work on these great problems and to you know uh, come up with solutions to design solutions together I grew up wanting to be a, uh, an astronaut but I had crappy eyesight and so I decided that it was better to go into uh, you know, other parts of the space industry. And I kind of wonder how somebody like you, you get into Congress, you'll most probably have to work with a lot of people that you don't agree with. And somehow we see today in Congress too much of, you know, just people totally not working together, taking extreme positions. And, and I would like to see more compromise, more just working together, left and right, center and whatever, just your skill and your experience in kind of bridging those differences and working together, even if you don't agree on their position. Yeah, I think we have a system right now that is not necessarily built for um, productive work, right? We have a system in which often, um, you know, people are rewarded for being loud or disagreeing strongly rather than trying to come up with solutions that help. And I'm really interested in structural reform. You know, how do we tweak the system so that those people are rewarded, the people who are, you know, coming to the table and trying to uh, figure things out. I helped run NASA during a period of incredible disagreement. You know, when people had different views on the future of the agency and how people should work together. And people came to me because they trusted that I was an honest broker who would be able to bridge between um, different groups. And that's the kind of cooperative spirit that I think I can help bring to Congress. But the main thing I think is really just getting people to believe that they can have an impact on their local government. You know, I think there's a lot of people in, uh, in our country, but you know, in our district too, who sort of don't feel that their vote matters that much. And we really need to help them believe that this actually can make a difference in their lives and that we're going to bring solutions to their lives that will have an impact for themselves or their kids or their parents. Um, that I think is the most important thing. Let's thank our guests.